especially with the, the Skimitar. I like to apply the Pine Resin while he's attacking the floor. So only R2 him. You need a little bit more endurance because you need to like close the gap in between you and him to hit him. Hey, welcome to my old hero guide for Demon Souls. I recommend the Claymore plus four, level 44, and Late Moon Grass from those Blue-Eyed Knights near Inner Ward. So this person right here in the Nexus can help you level up with souls. So I recommend speaking with her and getting to at least about level 44 for the old hero. You could farm a lot of souls from the Reaper like I show in YouTube video three. And I recommend endurance, strength, vitality. She kind of cosplays as the old hero, which is kind of funny. But yeah, I recommend leveling. So in video two, I fought the Tower Knight. It unlocks the inner ward. You just run right over here, defeat the blue-eyed knights, and they will each drop either half-moon grass or late-moon grass. Late-moon grass heals you a little bit more, and once you have about 20 late-moon grass, you should go fight the old hero boss. And they give you a lot of souls as well. You can buy the pine resin from the item vendor on the Lord's Path. You have to just start at the Lord's Path. So this guy upgrades your claymore, which you could purchase from the item vendor on the Lord's Path per video too. You need four hardstone shards for level one. You need six hardstone shards for level two. And yeah, the claymore has bigger reach. You press R2 with it to swing, and you can get these hardstone shards from the jellies on the Lord's Path. And you need eight hardstone shards for level three. You could get them from the Lord's Path jellies. Claymore plus four. I have eight hardstone shards and two large hardstone shards, which I got from the jellies on the Lord's Path. So I upgraded a plus four. So real quick, here is how you get to the Hearthstone Shards. You just fight these dudes right here. So you can upgrade your Claymore, which you purchase at the Item Bender on the Lord's Path. You could also farm 5k souls from the Reaver. You can also store excess items with Storage Thomas while you collect all these Half Moon and Late Moon Grass for the boss fight. I recommend doing it. So the Item Bender, which I show in YouTube video 2. He sells the Claymore, the Pine Resin, and the Late Moon Grass, which is superior to the Half Moon Grass for healing. I run to the pillar on the right, the second one, and I'm going to go to the Ritual Path. I'm on the Ritual Path. I actually like to run the Ritual Path initially with the Skimitar and then with the Claymore, uh, so I'll show you why, but you're going to continue on this way. To run to the old hero boss. You hop on this to open the door, and you could farm souls by shooting the reaper with the compound short bow, as it defeats all the blue dudes. You step on the altar behind the reaper to open up this door over here. I'm going to use a crescent moon grass to heal up. So I recommend the stone of ephemeral eyes um, to increase your maximum health vitality as you're fighting the old hero. It's a good boss to use it on. So I'm going to press L1 to block and then LT to knock the skeleton off the side of the cliff. And it's easier with the Skimitar equipped to do this. Um, let's try it again with this one. So L1 and then LT. Just take him out. Usually he falls off the cliff or something. So let's take him out real quick. The Skimitar. And take this one out real quick with the Skimitar. Nice. So I'm going to heal up with a Half Moon Grass. You have to be careful crossing here. It's very difficult. You get hit with the green shards, like I just did, by the mana rays all the time. And you're going to lose here like 50 times. So you're going to lead these skeletons out to the left, and then run to the right, and then just try to run by them without getting hit. It's really random. I haven't found a, a nice way to do it. And they do chase you inside of here. So, which is unfortunate. So this green laser dude, you're going to press L1 to mitigate the damage, and then you're going to try to run to the left side of him, and just run by him. Continue down here, along this rock. You got another laser dude. You can roll under it, but it doesn't matter. You can't avoid it. And you got another dude right here. So you can hit him with RT, and it does a little bit more damage, but you can't stun him, so if he's swinging, you can't stun him, so just hit him. They spawn in these blue pools here. Um, so even if you do defeat them, they'll still spawn behind you. So I got another one right here. 
take him out. You have to be careful because they could shoot you with the green laser. But with the upgraded scimitar, it makes it a little bit better when you RT them. So you get hit by mana rays over here. So it's running here. This part's very difficult because you have the Reaper and you have these blue guys, which and they spawn in that blue pool right there. So I'm gonna take them out with three RTs. Some of them take five RTs to get past. This one happens to take only three RTs. So they spawn in that blue pool right behind me. So I'm gonna press L1. I'm just gonna run right by this dude. The Reaper usually shoots at me, but if you dodge roll, you can avoid his shots and then continue onwards. It's a little bit easier that way. The Reaper does chase after you as well. So it's easy to avoid though. You could heal up. So in this room, these white lights, they explode if you run near them. So don't do that. Now if you fall off, you could just run up this little ledge right here to get back up. And essentially, I'm going to continue onwards. You can run back here later after you beat the old hero. But uh, you could fight the Storm King after the old hero. So I'm going to equip my Pine Resin now. And I recommend using the Stone of Ephraimal Eyes to increase your maximum vitality health red bar at the top. So I'm going to use my Pine Resin in front of the fog. Two hand of my Claymore. I'm going to light it on fire once I go inside here. Right near my little waxen doll boy in his little mercury pool. I'm going to press X to skip the cutscene. Run onto the right over here with the Claymore because he can't see you. And two hand your sword with triangle. Hit him three times with R2. Do maximum amounts of damage. Then back up. You want to keep your distance to him because he does lunge. So if you're close, he won't lunge at you as much. He can hit you through pillars. So you want to heal up if he damages you at all. I wasn't actually damaged there though. I was just. The white bar increases if you use the. Stone of Ephraimal Eyes, and you restore your humanity. I don't have any though. I got my Late Moon Grass, again from the Blue Eyed Knights, near the Inner Ward. You can stun him if you RT him twice in the back, especially with the, the Skimitar. I like to apply the Pine Resin while he's attacking the floor. So only R2 him. You need a little bit more endurance because you need to like close the gap in between you and him to hit him while avoiding his attacks. Dang. You can kind of tell if he's going to do like an overhang, overhead or not. I don't like fighting him over there. I'm just going to run over here. You could like lead him out and then like move in afterwards. Also. Looks like he lost where I am. So I'm just going to wait for my Pine Resin to go out and light it again. They're not going to RT him. RT him. He's going to yell. That's a close attack. RT. Nice, dude. Check out my little waxing dude. Always keep in mind that the man eater is the next boss, and it's like a gargoyle, which reminds me of the Grotesque Guardians YouTube video I made on Old School Runescape. Nice, dude. I'm gonna win. Fire effects look sick. Let me run away from him again, see if he loses where I am.
It looks like he loses where you are. If he misses when he jump, he like lunges at you. You could also get a full moon grass uh, from the red eyed knight near fog gate one in the gates of Altaria from my first YouTube video. Really? Really, dude? Nice, dude. I beat him. Cool. Maybe create some distance, I think. No, it doesn't matter. Hell yeah. Ugh. I grab this item. Oh, you got full moon grass right there. That's pretty cool. So that heals you up even more. Let me light my arch down. I'm not storming the king. Alright. I'm very weak. I'm gonna edit that. <laughs>